Okay, next we're going to add uh, to this pan here, which um, well, I guess I guess what I should have done is tell you on this dish right here, this this pan we're at a medium high heat. Uh, and you want to pay attention to it because you do not want to, you do not want to burn it. Fairly well down. It's uh, <clears throat> at this point it's much softer all the way around. We got a little brownness to it. And now we're going to add the tomatoes. These tomatoes come from our garden. We we pick at the height of the season, um, and then we boil them, uh, uh, blanch them for about three minutes, uh, and then we pack them in quart size freezer containers, uh, put them in the freezer, it's good to go. What you want is about half, about half as much tomato as you have over. heat down to medium and we'll basically just let it continue to cook down just a, a bit more. You don't want the tomato to stick. The sugars in the tomato will cause stickage if you don't stay after it. Now here's where we'll put some of our seasonings. We got garlic powder. A little bit of onion powder. Thank you. A little bit of ground back black pepper. And I've started using this a little bit. This is Dash. This is just table blend. We're just going to, basically we're just going to wilt them down. We're not trying to overcook them. Because they will continue to cook a little bit in the, in the mixture when we put that together. Turn this down to low. Because we're beginning to get just a touch of sticking on the bottom of the skillet. <coughs> easier for me to bring the skillet over here and you can see there that it's it's got a good green and brown flavor look to it um, it's cooked down I would say that this is probably pretty close we're going to continue to cook it just a little bit more uh, on just a low heat and then we'll So we just added the uh, onions and peppers to the mix. Now we will uh, get the uh, hamburger cooking. And we're gonna grill up about a half a, about a half a pound of hamburger meat with. This dish. As the meat grows, uh, I didn't mention earlier, but 
this is the secret ingredient right here. This is Tony Sashley's Creole seasoning. This has a relative uh, good amount of salt in it already, so you don't want to add too much additional salt. But that's probably the taste. We like our food seasoned pretty well around here. And so we're, we're pretty liberal with the seasoning. And again, that's a taste issue. I don't, uh, I don't salt any meat while I'm cooking it. Um, the Tony Sashery has salt in it, but it's got other ingredients as well, so I'm okay with that. But generally speaking, I don't, I don't put salt on my steak when I'm cooking it. Um, uh, a tenderloin, I don't put salt on that. I'll use pepper, garlic, onion, powder, uh, not the salt. And we're getting close. Now, Anita has already prepared ahead the brown rice. And there we go. That's done. And so that'll be dished up here shortly. We are within minutes of putting this on the table. And right now we're at one hour. I think that uh, that's tolerable since uh, we're actually filming this at the same time. Is, um, <clears throat> we'll try to leave as much of the, the grease behind and we can just simply take the meat and push it up to one side and it'll drain back just a bit. Let's see how that works. Okay. We have our okra and tomatoes. We have onions and peppers, and that would be, you could use bell pepper. Uh, I chose to use what we got on our garden, which were yellow, red, and green peppers, as well as I uh, put in one good size jalapeno. So we should have some pretty decent heat. And here we are at the table, and there's the dish. Creole, okri, and brown rice. Delicious.